Tonight, Northside High School students spoke out against the district dress code, saying it's unfairly enforced. Thanks for joining us for your 5 News at 10. I'm Erica Thomas. And I'm Darren Bob. The Fort Smith Public School Board holding a meeting tonight to discuss those grievances. 5 News reporter Zoe Henry spoke with the students responsible for this protest. After just one week back in class, some Northside students are off to a shaky start. Personally, I've been having problems with the issue for I don't know how long. It wasn't really an issue my first year at Northside or really the second, but it got more strict this year. Northside students say the limited options to the dress code include... The dress code bans almost all girl clothes, from leggings to crop tops to tank tops. Anything that we can buy in the girl section, they don't allow us to wear. So what are we supposed to wear to school? A question they were hoping to get answered at Monday night's meeting. But the meeting ended almost as quickly as it started. At 5.30, students and staff filed into the Fort Smith School Board building. And less than 30 minutes later, the school board dispersed and the students followed. Students share comment about their disagreements with the dress code enforcement. Well, because it's not that we just want to show off everything. It's never been about that. It's about being able to express ourselves in a way that we're comfortable and that isn't disruptive to school. Students also say school officials target specific body types and make inappropriate comments about them and say male students don't get regulated the same. And the students claim it's not just about gender discrimination, but also about racism and that the issue goes deeper than the clothes. You could ask some of the NHS students that they will tell you, yes, because I am white, I will not get dress coded because the teachers see me and they don't see a problem with what I have on. The board says it can't engage in the debate, but will take the students' thoughts into consideration. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Zoe Henry, 5 News. Of course, we contacted the Fort Smith Public District about, the, about this this afternoon, but they held their comment for now because they said it would cause speculation. Stay with the 5 News for updates on this developing story.